Yo, what's going on YouTube? Happy Sunday. It's time for another episode of Stub Sundays with your guy Buck here. We are going to go through and talk about the changes to the market that happened with this year's game, how we can still make stubs, a couple of low key players to get in on early that have a good chance to pay off a little bit later in the season. And we're also going to talk about the companion app, which is very, very important. Uh, in the whole grand scheme of things and making stubs in this game. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. All right, first up, we're going into the market. We're going to take a look at some of the prices, uh, live series cards right now. Mike Trout has actually come down from the first couple of days. He was uh, well into the 400s. Now he's down to 351, 383. We'll probably see that continue until Tuesday, and then he's probably going to start going. He should be. Historically, all these players right here, Acuna is actually pretty high uh, compared to Otani and, De and DeGrom. But you got to remember, Otani is just a starting pitcher card. Now, while he can hit with this starting pitcher card, it's not a full-fledged hitter card. So that probably brings it down a little bit. And Fernando Tatis at a 92 this early is somebody you definitely want to get your stubs out of. Usually you want to hold 90s and over, but with him going to be out for a little bit, I don't know what they're going to do with his card, if they're going to lower him or what, if they'll just leave him there. I honestly don't know, but I would definitely get my stubs out of Tatis if I open one of him. Now, if you listened last week and you were selling all of your under 90 players, you're probably doing pretty well with your stub count. I'm sitting about 155 now. I was flipping a bunch of stuff uh, last night while we were watching WrestleMania. So I got my stub count up a little bit. I plan on doing that all day today as well. So first off, before we get into talking about what we should buy or how we should make our stubs, we gotta take a look at what they changed about market prices. And this is gonna affect investment mostly, not flipping as much, a little bit maybe, but mostly it's gonna affect uh, our putting money into players and investing to make stubs when they go up to gold, diamond, and so on and so on. And I'll show you right now. All right, so as you can see, no longer are golds automatically a thousand stubs uh, to quick sell. They're different prices, same as silvers and everything else. Uh, in MLB The Show 21, as you can see, 75s through 79s quick sold for 100. Well, now 75 quick sells for 50, 76 is 75. As you can see, it progressively goes up 25 until you get to 150. Gold's the same thing. They were 1,000 across the board. Now they're 480, 681, 982, 1,283, and 1,500 at 84. And then your diamonds are the same way. 85s and up. 85s and all the way to 99 used to be 5,000 across the board. Now it's 3,000 for 85s, 37.50 for 86s, 4,500 for 87s. 5,500 for 88s and 7,000 for 89s. And then it just goes up from there. 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Uh, 92s to 99s are all 10,000. So you're like, Buck, this really screws us for investments, right? Wrong. And the reason I say that is, okay, so quick sell value right now on a 75 is 50 stubs, right? So if we go into the market and we filter for 75s live series, here's what we get. As you can see, some of these are well above quick sell prices and that's because people are doing collections, right? So uh, right now these are 50 quick sells. Like all these 75s, are, are only worth quick sell value of 50, but look how much some of them are because some people are investing. Some of these are new players that were just added this weekend, and some of them are just people doing collections. Francisco Mejia is one that uh, a lot of people are investing in, plus he's a newer card they added. Um, this is just crazy though. Some of these prices on 75s are insane right now. So what we're gonna wanna look for right now is uh, margins in cards to flip, right? You always got to remember you have 10%, right, on your sell price. So say right here, say we buy uh, Doval for a thousand stubs, right? And then we sell them for 1447. Well, we lose 10% of that sell price. So we lose, what is it, 144 stubs? So your 1447 is actually going to be 13, 13 or something like that. That's just off the top of my head. But either way, you still make 300 plus stubs on a flip, so that's not bad. Anything anything like that that has a big gap like that, we're looking for as far as flipping. If you remember from last year, that's the key. You're looking for larger gaps, but you always have to remember your 10% sales tax. Don't ever forget your 10% sales tax, right? All right. So once the market settles down and all these cards you know, get back to their normal prices like you won't see the 75s being this high once the market settles down in a couple weeks but right now everybody's trying to get the collections done so the market's just crazy so it's not really a good time to invest 
the best thing you were looking for right now is to flip but later on once the market settles down it'll be uh more time to talk about investments but there is still players that you can invest in now early uh to you know potentially make stubs down the line once we start getting our player updates and uh and the market cools down a little bit and people aren't you know getting their collections done also something else that is really really good to flip that a lot of people don't talk about is your equipment and your perks and you can see the equipment uh gaps and prices are really crazy as people are doing their ball players and come tuesday when this game goes live live it's gonna be even more nuts um th there's look at these gaps that's uh what thirteen thousand stub gap right there that's crazy there's tons and tons of good stub making opportunities here in the equipment not just diamonds i mean you can go all the way to the golds and there's still some good uh good flipping chances like here's 101 and 199 that's like 80 quick stubs flipping you could probably do that one over and over uh here's a good one right here for the leggings the what do you call those uh clover leggings lucky charms leggings whatever you want to call them a uh, nice 1300 stub gap in there so equipment is something not to be overlooked when it comes to flipping, but a lot of people do. They always think they have to go into just do the player cards, but no. There's tons of stubs to be made in equipment as well as perks. Let's see how the perks are looking today. All right, yeah, look at these gaps. 5,700, 9,200, that's a huge gap. 63 and 10. I mean, look at some of these crazy, 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 crazy gaps in, uh, in these perks. And it goes all the way, look at that, 705 and 9, look at that. That's 1,290 stubs right there, difference. So you lose 120, right? So you're st this is a thousand stub flip right here. This is this is where the stubs are at early game because these prices are so volatile because people are making their players, their creative players, their cheesy dick players. So they're in here trying to buy this stuff and a lot of people forget that you can flip this as well as players. So pay attention to your perks and your equipment. All right, now I'm going to give you two early game investments that are really, really good. I mean, even at the price right now, 59 stubs, that's pretty good for Paul DeYoung. He'll go down, though, as the week goes on, probably closer to next weekend. And people and the, you know, more people are opening packs come Tuesday when the game comes for release. Some of these prices will start really going down, and it'll be a really good time to pick them up. Uh, 25 stubs apiece, you should be able to get this guy for easily. Seven po at some point next week, and I'm going to be buying a bunch of them. And I'm going to tell you why Paul DeYoung's a good investment. I'm going to show you real quick. All right, so if we take a look at Paul DeYoung's numbers here, right? 2017, 2018, he was pretty good. 25 homers in his rookie season, 285 average, 857 slugging, 121 OPS plus. He finished second in rookie of the year. He followed that up with 19 homers, 241 average. Uh, 102 OPS plus and 746 OPS. So he, he gradually started falling off, but then he bounced back in 2019 was an all-star, right? 31 homers, um, 233. The average wasn't great. Slugging was all right. And the OPS plus wasn't great, but he was hitting homers. He got too Homer happy. That's what happened with Paul DeYoung. He, he just got too Homer happy with his swing. He wanted to do everything with power instead of we're, you know, worrying about his average and everything else. He is one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball. Like, top five, easily, defensive shortstops in baseball. If he can just get his offense back to 17 or even 19 season, uh, you're talking about an easy gold player. Like, a low gold player, probably, but an easy gold player. So, you're talking from bronze to gold. And why do I think he's going to do that this season? He hired a private hitting coach this this offseason and this winter, and he worked all winter with him. Uh, if you want to take a look at his spring numbers already, I'll show you. Now, remember, this is spring training, but he has 20 at-bats. He's got 10 hits, two homers, nine RBIs, 15-15 uh, OPS, and on-base percentage of 565. Now, this is spring training, but everything he is hitting this spring is hard. He's on the ball again like he was in his rookie season and in 19 and he's, he's totally locked in and focused. And I think that this is a big season for Paul DeYoung because he doesn't have to be the man in that lineup. If he gets off to a hot start, man, his card prices are gonna start going up. So I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and start picking him up between 25 and 50 the, this week, and I'm gonna be buying a ton of them. The other player I wanna talk about, White Sox starting pitcher, Dylan Cease. Now he's a 76 silver, he's 186 to 290 right now. I think that's a little high to buy him at right now, but he will go down this week, probably between the 100 and 150 stub range, and then that's a good time to buy him. I think he's an easy hold for gold, and I think he's a long-term play for diamond this season, and let me show you why. If you look at last season, he had 2.9 war, 13 and seven, 391 ERA, 
uh, 1.24 whip. He struck out 226 in 165 innings. That's that whip is pretty disgusting. They project him at 11 and 8 and a 408 earned run average. I don't know where they get that projection from. He was 391 last year, 13 and 7. According to uh, you know Baseball Reference, he's going to go backwards. Uh, 159 innings. They got him for 187 strikeouts. So apparently, uh, Baseball Reference doesn't agree with me. They think he's going to go backwards. I disagree. However, if you look at his spring training numbers, he's uh, which really don't matter wins and losses. But 129 ERA. Uh, he's pitched seven innings. He's got eight strikeouts. So he's already striking people out. 0.71 WHIP. This will be his fourth season in the game. His ERA has dropped every year, 579, 401, 391. But according to uh, baseball reference here, he's going to regress, apparently. Uh, but I don't see it. He is going to, I think, win to, uh, close to 20 games, if not win 20 games, with that dangerous White Sox team. You know, if he can get one or two more starts, maybe he can get up to the 240, 250 strikeouts, which is crazy. But yeah, I like him as a hold for gold 100% because it's only four points for him. But uh, maybe, maybe long-term hold for diamond this year i really like this kid a lot all right something else we need to talk about and i'm going to remind you about and some people just completely forgot about is the mlb the show companion app make sure you download the updated version for mlb the show 22 and it works the exact same way as it did last year you can get on the companion app and you can enter multiple multiple orders at a time uh yesterday i was buying commons for five stubs a piece and selling them for 100 subs all day long. I put in 20, 30 buy orders at a time and then put in 20, 30 sell orders at a time per player. And you could just keep that going all day. Don't forget MLB The Show companion app on your phone. Download it. It is the biggest, biggest tool we have to make massive stubs in MLB The Show. If you don't use it, you're just, you're just killing yourself, really, because if you try to do all the flipping on the game itself, it takes so long. You can get on the companion app, you can enter one price and continue to buy, 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 or sell at that price. You don't have to, you know, go on here, clip, clip, clip. All right, enter one. All right, don't do that. Don't be a dumbass, okay? Just use the companion app. Download the updated companion app and use it. Do it now. All right, as always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any players that you think are good to invest in early, I always love to hear that. Let's let's talk about it in the comments below. Others might pick up on that too. And you know, you could really help out the community. That's what it's all about here is helping out others, making stubs, everybody getting their collections done and having all the cards that they want. This isn't a competition. It's about being helpful and helping everybody out in the community, all right? There's enough toxicity in the community as it is. Let's see if we can just not have that here. Just keep the positive vibes and the stubs flowing. That's what it's about. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to do so. Turn on the notifications so you know when I upload. We're probably going to be uploading about three to four times a week. Stub Sunday will be every Sunday, regardless of the other videos I put up during the week. But I am going to try to put up a few other videos during the week as well to help out. I would like to get my YouTube partnership this year. And you could help me out with that by checking out all of my videos and, uh, you know, watching them as long as possible, getting those watch hours. That would be great. Also, comments help. Uh, likes on the video help and again if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button it's free you can also check me out over on twitch i stream pretty much every day except for sunday uh at twitch.tv backslash big old buck all one word come over and check us out we have some great vibes we talk baseball we have a lot of fun we just had a subathon the other day uh we actually unlocked fifa i've never played soccer i don't know anything about soccer but later this year we will be playing fifa so yeah, that should be interesting. Anyways, come over to Twitch, check us out, hit me up with a follow over there. You might even catch a gift sub. We have a very generous community and we have a lot of fun over there. So come hang out there as well. As always, you can catch me right here. Same buck time, same buck channel.